welcome back to Awesome Action Toys. This time we're looking at the Argarts Infantry ST88. This was released a couple of years ago. It was a very, very popular release. Uh, lovely box art there. This is the old style box before we had the crates. Just have a, have a little look around. You'll see on the cover art there are three of them. One with like a minigun, one with a pistol, one with a uh, rifle stroke machine gun. On the back, 118, fully weathered, and it says can fit to 118 armor and tank. Okay, so what's inside the box? What do we get? We get our figure, which is lovely, and it falls down as I say that. We get minigun, we get the assault rifle, and we get this awesome looking pistol. Let's look at the figure first of all. So, like the Soul Commander, but slightly different paint app, the helmet comes off, goes back on, not the best fit, but it's okay. You have this webbing, which is uh, rubbery, which looks nice, the problem is it moves up all the time and it sort of gets a bit out of place like this, which wouldn't happen in real life, obviously. Articulation is as you would expect on Acid Rain, absolutely phenomenal, very easy to pose. Uh, lovely ankle articulation, the double knee articulation that we all expect from our high quality 118 scale figures. And obviously we have the hips as well. Okay, this is a very, very nice figure. So yeah, I'll give you a quick look, or a better look from the front side and the back. Okay, the three weapons. First let's look at the pistol. This is a nice design pistol with a little guard there. Quite substantial, quite hench looking. And what's nice on the acid rain guns is they have the holes drilled in the barrels to the added realism. Very easy of them to hold because they have nice rubbery hands which means it's very easy to slot in a pistol or weapon. You'll hold it easily and there you go. He's now got his pistol ready for whoever is going to come his way. Okay, nice pistol. Okay, the assault rifle. This was a new one for Acid Rain and we saw it later in the Bucks release. Very, very nice with a little scope, nice stock there. Again, a drilled barrel for added realism. Very, very nice, good details. And on this there is no real paint work. There's a little bit of detail there, but you can paint yourself if you want. And again, it's very easy for them to hold. What's nice about these is they've made the stock so it will actually fit inside his inner arm when his arm's bent and not be too long like you get in some toys. They can't actually hold it properly. Okay, and again, it's very easy for him to hold this like a proper gun. So I just quickly pose him. And now that I said that, I can't get the gun to stay in his hand. Okay, so guns in his hand. Okay, so, and there he is holding the assault rifle looking every bit the soldier that he is looking the part okay what about the minigun just put him down uh, minigun's a nice design the only disappointing thing is the uh, <laughs> ammunition stored in here will not last much more than like half a second if this was a real minigun the way to hold it is a uh, interesting you've got a handle here so many of us make the figure hold the top here. The barrel again is drilled, so it looks nice. The barrel does uh, come out, which is useful for customizers and so forth. And obviously goes back in, and it does turn. Not by itself, you have to move it yourself. So to hold this, normally you hold the handle here to get a different angle in his arm, more back. So hold this here and normally we'll get the other hand to come over and on top like thus and I'm going to just widen his stance just to counter the weight of the 
mini gun. Maybe I'll put his foot forward a bit. Okay, so. And flatten his foot out. So, there he is holding the mini gun, which does look the part. Looks like a very mean looking soldier. The hat keeps coming off there. If I put this up, you get better contrast rather than my black acid rain t shirt. Okay, what's really nice about this gun, and this is something that a lot of you have realised already, if you have the uh, AMM Stinger, the exclusive AMM Stinger, which I have here, you can swap these guns out and change to the mini guns. Now, a sand version of this is coming out, uh, not sure when, maybe next year, probably, and you'll be able to swap the guns out if you want. Swapping the guns out is not difficult, you just got to pick up and pull. And then you can push in as you want. Again, he says, struggling with this one. It's a very precise fit, so if I get this wrong, it's not going to fit. Okay. So we can get our articulation on there too. And again, you need to pick up and a slight pull and out it slots like thus. Okay, so very nice on the figure and very nice on the guns. Now it is worth noting that there will be a re-release of these soon and the gear here will be in soft goods, will be material, so we won't have this riding up issue. It also means that the price of these on a second hand market will come down because at the moment you can only get them like this. Now these will still retain some of their old or some of their new price, their higher price, because they're originals, if you want to collect one of each, then you'll want to keep or get one of these. But the price will generally drop as they become more available with the new soft goods here. Okay? So this is the 118 scale Aserain Argarts military uh, trooper, very nice, with the three weapons and his hat, which keeps popping off. Unless you want to put it over his eyes, I guess. But it's a very, very nice figure. And a lot of people army built with these when they first came out. That's why they're quite hard to get now. Please like, share, subscribe and watch out for more videos from Awesome Action Toys. Until next time.